In this video, I'm going to show you how to format an MLA paper from scratch in Google Docs. Let's launch the Google Chrome web browser. In the top right corner, click on the grid icon. In the drop down menu, click on Docs. Take a blank document from here. Now let's see the formatting step by step. Go to Format, then Line Spacing. In the pop up, select Double. Now we have to change the font. Although we can use both Times New Roman and Courier fonts in official papers, it's best to use Times New Roman. Click on the font option and change it to Times New Roman. The official font size for an MLA paper is 12, so change your font size if you are not using 12. Now type the name of the person who is writing the paper. In the next line, write the name of your teacher, advisor, or instructor but remember to use the appropriate title for their name. Some of them can be doctor or professor. In the next line, enter your class name or code. Now we have to add the date. Be careful about the date format. You have to add the day in numbers, the month in words, and the year in numbers again. Remember that you have to separate the day, month, and year using spaces, not commas or any other signs. Now let's add the page numbers. Double click on the upper part of the margin. This will open the header option for you. In the header section, click on Options. In the drop down, click on Page Numbers. In the pop up, add the page number as a header, show it on the first page, and start it at 1. After you are done, click on Apply. If your page number isn't on the right side, select the page number and change the alignment to right. You can also add your last name before the page number. One thing to notice is that the header is in a different font than what we are using. Select the whole header and change the font to Times New Roman. Let's come back to our main article. In the next line, set the alignment to the center and type your article title. While you write your article title, you have to follow a rule. You must capitalize the first letter of the uncommon words and keep common words in lowercase. You can see that I have capitalized the letters for Format, Style, Document, and Google Docs, but I have kept A and IN in lowercase. In the next line, change the alignment back to normal and write your article. After writing, select your whole article. Go to Format, then Align and Indent. Now click on Indentation Options. In the pop-up, click on Special Indent and select First Line Indent. In the empty box on the right, enter the value for the First Line Indent. In my case, I will add 0.5 and click on Apply. Here you can see that the first line of each paragraph is indented. Now our article is done. Some of us go to File, then Share to submit our paper to our teacher. But I highly recommend not using this method, because if you do, most of the time the formatting of the document gets jumbled. Instead, go to Download and download the document as a PDF. Now let's close the browser and open our PDF. Here you can see that our article is complete and the formatting is perfectly in place. Following these steps, you can easily format a paper in MLA style using Google Docs. Feel free to reach out if you encounter any issues during the process. If this video helps you out, please leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. If you need further assistance, consider hiring a professional using the link in this video below.